Find it. Train spot on Midgan again. Hi, Super Tram. How's the picture and sound, guys? <laughs> Hello, Andrew Williams. Hi again, Samuel. Just behind you, there's a sensor. Cold yard. Cold yard. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Random Explorer. It's the two steam what are due to leave the actual station down. Is that a bit clearer with sound? It's just that I'm about to hire the tripod up. And it is a bit windy. That what you see over there where the railings are? Yes, that is the avoider line. That's some as you call it, is the... Uh, oh yeah, I've got my steps, so you might be able to hear me a bit clearer. Hear it a bit clearer now, guys. Well, the bridge there that you're facing, just behind there, is the energy centre. So, yeah, we're looking down towards the heritage centre. Still see the fence in it a bit. Yeah, but you've got the full stretch, aren't you? Um, so, the railings you see on your far side is the avoider line where the freight avoid and come up from the station and obviously go down. No, they don't go down that one. They don't go down that no, one. Go down, go down. Oh, no, it's further up there, yeah. isn't it? Near the cold yard. There. So how long are you out? Hi Marin again. Thanks for joining. Hope you're well. Well we've just come back out again for the steam leaving the depot at uh, depot, leaving the station. Thank you, random explorer. So I'm standing on my step again. It, I have been here before, but I have actually done a live stream. I've done videos but no live streaming from here. This is, I don't know if you can make out the bridge just in front of us. That is the bridge just as you're approaching the Crew Heritage Centre. So we're not too far away from Crew Station. Hope you're well, thank you for joining. Second one today, Fern. That bridge leads you into town centre there, Craig. Yeah, the so you've got the, t the buildings you can just see on the side as well that is actually the beginning of what we call what we have true town spencer <laughs> did you have to fight your way through the brambles and bushes uh, as you see there is a few uh, trees there's the odd little gap in the fencing where you can actually stand but yeah we can only face this one direction well you could face the opposite direction really without any trees and bushes being in the way <clears throat> towards the coal yard signal box but obviously the locals are coming from the station so i'm not too sure they're going to leave a bit earlier than 10 past two it is showing up that they're leaving a little bit earlier so this is why we've come back out to catch them again and we have a 390 
156. Lower lean nose around here. Yeah, because they're just leaving the station as they're coming out there. So we've been home, had a refresher, had something to eat, and we're back again. <laughs> Fueling. <laughs> Hi Scott, thanks for joining, hope you're well. Yeah, they are accelerating, that came towards about 35 and went away doing around 45. Hi Sean, that's Vern. Hi Vern, hope you're well. <coughs> If it was Scotland, you would be get st stung on nettles and getting scratched by brambles and getting smacked by trees. Trust me, I know that as I used to train spot at the rumbling bridge of Inverness, Aberdeen and Glasgow. Trains around Basford all do about 100, don't they? They do as they're coming up towards us, yes. So if it was busy regarding freight wise going north, it'd be lovely to catch some coming out of the avoider line. But the only thing here, guys, is that uh, we're actually situated on a car park, a public car park, and there's a pub right behind me. Lucky enough, at the moment, it's not open. But in the summertime, it does get extremely busy and loud. Scary how fast they approach, but then next time they do about 20, it's mad. 350s, 110 by the time it comes past the super tram. So what's everybody done within the last hour? <laughs> Anything special? And a lot of colourful language too. So just at the side over there where you see the buildings, just next to that is Crew Lyceum. <laughs> We've even had a new McDonald's built as well, a drive through 24 hour drive through service. You can see the security fencing and then there's like a roadway. I take it that'll be for the network rail if they were to work on the track. Just to get to that yard there. Uh, to get to the coal yard. I played SCR and I did a dispatching season at Stepford Central, which is one of the biggest of the map. I did a job being bored. We know the feeling, Samuel. <laughs> Sundays are the worst day ever because there's never anything to do. <laughs> and as you can see, the railway is very, very quiet. So hence the reason why I said we'll be training, train spotting, should I say, line side weekdays, unless we get any specials. And if the weather's good at a weekend, what weekend will be our seeing? It will, it's that where the work used to be the other side of the mucky hole. 350, trying to get my bearings. It, Marin said, is that where the work used to be at the other side of the mucky hole, trying to get my bearings? No, it's always been the town, hasn't it, there? 
over yeah. there. Yeah, no, we're not quite near where the works is, Marin. As I say, the signal box, the cold yard signal box is just behind us. Don't know if you'll be able to see it. 390. 008. You can't quite make it out that way, guys. That's where the signal box, coal yard signal box is. The newest McDonald's in my town opened in 2020. Well, I wouldn't say Crew is a big town, but we have three McDonald's. To me, it sounds seems a bit silly, really. It no, should have been there, should have been a Burger King, but Burger King pulled out and McDonald's purchased the land. But they're virtually like what five minutes away from each other by car. It's a bit daft. If that with that one and the one where we've been. Mm. Is it crew station from the left to us? Yeah. To as we're looking for the city. It sure is random explorer. The direction the camera is now is crew station. To be honest, Alperk is quite a big town. Yeah, well, we've got three, and it's only a small town, I'd say. Well, oh, the town centre it, itself hasn't got nothing in it, really. Welcome back, Anthea. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining us again. So let's see if we get the front steam in action this time, guys. Maybe run out of fuel, uh, fuel. maybe run out of water. No Could number. be. Could well be. So yeah, we are obviously facing crew station, but we are no of crew. Only just. <laughs> But it's another nice peaceful spot today but as i say the pub is right behind where the camera is so come summertime you can't really come here and live streaming because it's a beer garden that's behind us getting bearings from only having visited crew once no problem random explorer okay just a speed calculation for the 350 lengths of samuel all the information there for you. We have three one in Camelon, which is the second, which is the big best. The second one at the retail park, well, it's quite bad for food. And the third one is at Range Myth, which is actually owned by McDonald's UK, and it's really good. We've got three, like I say, we went the uh, 24 hour one the other night, my daughter finished work, and wow, the food bleh, wasn't nice. <laughs> and it's only been open a couple of weeks. So yeah, not nice food. Any co my bunny is with me, Anthea. Ooh, nice rabbits. We used to have rabbits ourselves. We used to have a big house one. Oh, it was huge. I can't remember what they were called now. Yes, we see. Continental rabbit yeah. is what we had. And then we had little ones as well, which were outside. Blue Pullman coming back from Berwick up on Tree tomorrow. ECS at 16.55 where you are standing. I'm not too sure if the pub will be open with it being a weekday tomorrow night. Let's try it. Further up. You can go further up the car far though. So we'll have to see with that one. Oh, you're back. Hi Nick, welcome back. <laughs> Off as pressed at that because you would think the newest one would be the best one. No, the oldest one is the best one. <laughs> but I just don't see why we have three so close together. It seems a bit pointless. We haven't got no shops in the town as it is. Surely they could have made something else. What, a model shop? Yeah, another model <laughs> shop. Ideal. I'm front and back myself, but my back is better looking, says Nick B. <laughs> Bless you, Nick. So 
as I say, now I'm streaming guys, I can't check any updates In Lily it's not the same weather, it's sunny Yeah, it's starting to go, the sun's starting to go down a little bit A little bit more breezy than what it was earlier And we're getting a little patch of clouds here and there But we have been given rain out for afterwards the works was on the right as you left the station on the Cheshire lines and behind the Everton Centre close to where you are. Uh, yeah, but the lines, you're on about, uh, you're on about the Chester lines. Yeah, it'll be the Chester lines, won't it, where the works go? Yeah. Yeah, so no, we're not actually on that line we're in. We've got just further down as you're looking towards Chester the station. Chester at the side of the Everton Centre. Uh, you've got the Chester line that comes off as you're coming out of Platform 12 or Platform 6. Yeah. It goes to your left. That's the lines you're on about where you'd see the works. 390, yeah. We're on a complete different lines to that. Uh, 390. 013. The multiple car park in town looks an eyesore, says Nicole. In Crew Town, do you mean, Nicole? Yeah, the bus station. It looks like it's uh, sloping. Yeah, <laughs> it dips in the middle. I think that's for water though. Still grey and gloomy where I am in the rain in the forecast. April is a cruel month. It sure is, Nick B. But they do say April showers. But we've had more than April showers, I think. Andrew Williams just messaged, just come down on the screen. Andrew asked, thank yeah. you, Andrew, for your message. With the link, I take it. <laughs> I'm not looking at the camera, I'm watching the iPad again Monday today. The 15th. Right, so that'll be for tomorrow then for the Blue Pullman. Yes, it is in our crew town. This is the code. Don't really come into crew town to be quiet. I don't really do town full stop to be quite honest. Well, you know all the cameras that I was looking at the other night where they stream for 24 hours. Live. Oh, the Wi Fi things, yeah. yeah. Right. On there. <laughs> That'd be good. And that 390 that passed about five minutes ago was going 24 miles an hour. If you want to see an eyesore, come to the city and take a look at the horrendous sculpture thing they've put outside the fair to. It seriously is ugly, says Nick. <laughs> we had a statue, we, was it this year or last year? The, the knife angel. The knife angel, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So just beyond them buildings as well, what we're looking at is where Crew Police Station is. If that helps anyone out with uh, sightings. No, it's right over there, there, right in front of you. Yeah, just yeah. beyond them. It's, crew, it's, it's where the library used to crew be Crew Magistrate well. Court. Yeah and the police station and, and even crew library that was a historical build and they've actually knocked that down guys great great two graded two i think two. it was and they've actually knocked the building down i've seen crew bus station on a video it was very bad one to be honest i wouldn't even call it a bus station i would call it a bus dump i don't do town either unless i have to go to the job center says nicole only two likes says anthony Who's my favourite station too? Really is Montrosity and it costs a quarter of a million. They just love to waste the money nowadays, that's all it is. Yeah, but that knife angel thing was it for a good cause for people to hand the knives and that, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think it did cause a bit upset, didn't it, know. as well? Because there was too many teenagers and people hanging around it. No, there were scorty people there though, weren't there? Because it was made of knives, wasn't it? I've just bish bash bosh, thanks Super Tram. Everyone bish bash bosh the like button to Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. So I do apologise, it's a little bit blowy, guys. Any of our McDonald's that are open 24 hours or drive through only after 9 pm, no inside dining until morning. Oh no, when I went this new one down here, Vern, the other night with my daughter at work, after work, it was gone midnight. About quarter, quarter to one, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and there was people sitting inside. My dad, when he was younger, went to rugby and he forgets his suitcase in the station. Oh dear. The works would have been where Tesco, Dunhelm and the Odom, etc. are now located. That's there, just behind the 
Yeah, just behind this bridge just here. Just behind yeah. the bridge yeah. is Tesco. And then you've got Omen Burg. It used to be Omen Bergen and Dunelm, where Omen Bergen and Dunelm is, used to be MFI and B&Q yeah. years ago. Yeah, B&Q on it. Yeah. We've got a much better B&Q because it's a lot bigger now. It means I spend more money in there, though. That's the only thing. <laughs> Is Crew one of them towns that have absolutely fantastic Van Dobby Dozy station bull itself in, is really boy. You've got it in one Samuel. We've got a nice big train station, but everything else is yeah, nothing. <laughs> All crew consists of is takeaways and hairdressers. Yeah. Nail bars. <laughs> and nail bars. Beauty places. I played rugby when I was young. Does that count? Laugh out loud, says Nick B. <laughs> 64, but he always remembered that mistake. If you want to see a dump, you should come to Falkirk and see the eyesore of our bus station, which is a street now, and further down is the old bus station, which is in, still intact. They used to open inside 24 hours, but they want to keep all the dumps and undesirables out late at night, which is understandable. More safety. Corner shops and mucky flats, says Samuel. Hi Paco, hope you're well. Thank you for joining. Just to let you know, Paco, we'll have no 66s today. It's not very good for uh, well, we have no freight over the weekend on a no. Sunday. Well it's dead south, isn't it? It's really, really quiet. Far more interesting when it was covered by the works, says Marine. Sure was, Marin. I did say a while back on the other channel, I'd do a video. I'll have to go down and show you. There used to be a major big wall down West Street and they painted it years ago to disguise it, which was the works wall. Is that where that... To disguise it like houses. Yeah, well, that's where that spit to fire stop the bomb it. Street, Yeah. It? And believe it or not, it's all been built on now and they weren't allowed to knock the wall down, but they did. But they've had to... Re use some of the reclaimed bricks to build some of the brickwork wall in to put railings on around the house in but I, if when i can get chance to it's finding time for me to pop out and do a video and when it's not too busy because obviously i'd have to walk around on the streets yeah i try and get your video because there's hardly anything for the work left we've got bomb bomb Alstom it's called Alstom, now, yeah, isn't it? Alstom, yeah. Hi, Ray Ride and Mark. Thanks for joining. Hope you're well. Which is why Just Eat exists. Please get us an ambulance, that one. Hi, Marina. I saw your messages before. Rachel, they are looking for you. Uh, coming to take me to the nutty ward then because that was the ambulance. It wasn't the police. <laughs> they must think I'm going crazy. That's the definition of British towns, laugh out loud, corner shops, rough council estates, gangsters being nuisances, road works and work, road, road works, road works. Oh, you can't go from crew to Nantwich without hitting any kind of road works. With the bad weather we've had, you've got to like watch as you're the driving bottles. along. Some of them, the potholes are really damaging some people's cars. You have to be really careful. Like lakes, aren't they? But I'd imagine <laughs> that's the same in uh, everywhere, to be quite honest, with the amount of bad weather we've had. Hi, Andrew. Nice to see you. Is there a white coat ready for you? Laugh out loud, says Vern. Right, Vern, I'm blocking you. That's it. I've had enough. <laughs> need more than one white coat to get me. <laughs> Did I hear tones, Anna? Was it me hearing things? Lots of traffic about, though, today, guys. I don't know what anything... Well, like I say, the Heritage Centre's got a classic car show on. So there was quite a few cars in and out just as we've come past there. You used to queue by a big stone wall before being allowed into on a tour, which was usually on a Sunday with a permit that you had to apply for. Never heard of that, Marin. That's something new to me. 
would have been good though if you could still do it actually glad i don't own a car but the pavements here are just as bad as the roads yeah you t i tend to swerve and well it doesn't look good if you've got police behind you <laughs> that's the thing if you're swerving out of the way of potholes coming to take you away says burn does crew have an hospital crew has a big hospital as well super tram it's the, it's the main thing is the Leighton hospital in crew and crew station are the main main sort of things in crew they've, really they've, they've extended it haven't they they've, but got they've extended car parks. it and they went about doing a multi-story car park it's it's quite a major one there is the odd thing that they can't well, actually do and they send you up to north staffs which is what half an hour or so away yeah. it's, it is. but it is a major major hospital likes is appreciated in channel says paco thank you paco is that called crew stafford's hospital no it's called crew it's called Leighton hospital at crew super tram north stafford's is up stoke that's like a major major i think it's just as big really i did go up there a few weeks a few months ago um no staffs is like an North art beat staff. style, isn't it? It's yeah. old fashioned. It's old yeah, fashioned, it's like an it? oldish style, but it is another major. It's more focused on children, that's why it's North Not staff. necessarily. Well, that's where the children always tend to go more if they've got serious like issues, isn't it? Older A. No, older A I'm thinking of, yeah. Thank you, Paco. It's very, very kind of you. My time on here is saying it's 10 to 6. What time are we on? Can't see on that one. <laughs> so here's a list. Buff Council Estates Potol, teenagers wearing all black clothing, awful protest, road work, road works, mucky flats, poor rail travel, BBC news, being miserable, laugh out loud. <laughs> Just don't eat the food in the hospital. Now I must admit, Vern, ours is quite not that bad quite not that bad ours isn't quite that bad <laughs> ours is all right hospital serving Falkirk was built in 2011 and is called fourth valley hospital the wind's picking up a little bit guys i do apologize and it's huge i live between canick and stafford in huntington for a couple of years just up the motorway then, Marie, not too far. Can it? That's why we went that time. Oh, yeah. Hit that car up, wasn't it? Yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah. It's just outside Larbert. I was eating cereal for dinner since Ben. <laughs> Food wasn't nice when he was in the hospital. You're getting the odd burst of the wind, guys. So it's coming up to 5 2. Now, on real train times, it did say it'd be leaving that little bit earlier. Do we have any updates on them, guys, coming out? As, as robots doing the laundry and cooking and other things, too. Marilyn says hi to Sutty. She's chilling today, Sutty is. She's a bit fed up because the sun's gone in and she can't go out with sunbathe. But as I say, we can't keep her out too long. We have to tice her in because she wants to play ball all the while when the sun's out. <laughs> I bought her a present the other day. It came yesterday in the post. It's a solid ball. It's a dog toy. But I don't know if people remember them tubes you used to get from the sea. I used to get them from the seaside when I was young. And you used to flick them over and they make like cow noises and all different noises like that. Well, this is a solid ball, and if you're rolling it around or moving it, it makes all different noises. So the postman delivered it yesterday, and he says, my van has not been so noisy because all I could hear is all these strange noises coming from the back. <laughs> it's quite funny, but she loves it. That's the main thing. When I was in hospital, my wife used to bring me a box of edible grub every day, says my van. I suppose the worst place to be when you're poorly you usually end up catching something else while you're there and then it finishes you off i avoid the places laugh out loud says nick marilyn is yapping at her breakfast trains from england 
U UTV. Oh, so Paco's watching on his TV. The lab but also has a children's ward too as well as mental health ward too. It's the main one for the Fourth Valley area. I think we could all I'll safely say that we appreciate the time you and Sean have put in your live streams. You always cheer people and really appreciate it. Thank you, Random Explorer, for your very kind words. Very much appreciate it. Andrew's watching on his TV too. <laughs> it's always good. I love watching back on me big BT on me big big TV. Get me words out, Rachel. And here's Japan, extremely reliable travel and network very wise cool people lovely landscapes and views extremely complex fantastic roads and mail in structure and clean airports because say we've been watching airports all day 390 049 that going straight through the thing it's going to make fast and it to stop no slowing down slowing down oh, it's more. slowing up now it's getting extended as it can't cope with the demand and it's only 12 year old. Wow, it's like being there, says Andrew. Andrew's watching on his big telly because it's like he's already here. <laughs> oh wow, that's shockingly fast. I thought it was a bit fast going into the station. Might be it may go yeah. straight through. have good buzz links though so super tram oh we've got better various buzz buzz and railways down here are good so whereabouts on rtt are you coal yard samuel ready for bagel and coffee says burn Thank you, no problem. We did just try showing you the signal box, but you couldn't see it. The signal box is just behind us for the cold yard. I think the old system, as far as hospitals are concerned, with every large town had an hospital and was a large general cover in the area to do all the big jobs. You can just make it out there, guys. That is Crew Coal Yard signal box. That's me knocking the tripod. I'm having a pot of tea, yes, a real teapot, laugh out loud. <laughs> and a slice of ginger cake. Mmm, 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 says Nick B. <laughs> Going tuck into a packet of prawn and cocktail crisps, a super tram. Feeling that steam train will depart crew at 14.6, keeping its time. I checked real train times and it gave an estimate to leave round about now. So that's why we come out that little bit earlier. But I'm sure you'll be able to wear it as well. There's lots of people on the station and it gives whistles. Oh, that was a car horn. <laughs> and it gives whistles, you'll most probably hear it from here, guys. Andrew Williams, Nation, National Geogra Geographic TV, says Paco, never rely on RTT, estimated times, laugh out loud, says Samuel, I only ever know how to work it, Samuel, when Andrew sends me the links and then I can click the link and I know what I'm looking at then, but that's about it, <laughs> I'm useless checking things out otherwise, is that a bike path in front of you or Network rail access. Network, uh, yeah. rail. Network rail access, that is, Marin. There's like where the signal box is here, what I've just shown. Yeah. There's like a little yard to the right of here. It's got all. Yeah, because network... if you go down here, you can yeah. get, yeah. It's a network rail place. Rangers have been beaten. I'm absolutely de delighted, says Ryan. Football again. <laughs> Well, now you can see guys why I don't really come out on weekend. Sundays, this is the first time I've ever done a Sunday, I think. Never been out on a Sunday, have we? Yeah. 
We have. Yeah. When? <laughs> I've lost count then. Well, I think we've done a couple on the station before now, haven't we? Yeah. Hi Ben, thanks for joining, hope you're well. We're just waiting for the steam to leave crew now, Ben. Shouldn't be too long now. The station is just under the bridge. We're just looking at towards the station. That's Rory the racing car. Sounds like a V8. <laughs> yes, Paco, invisible beam up in the, to the sky and back down again. It says Andrew. You have to thank Andrew Williams for this, guys. Without Andrew sending me the link, I wouldn't have known they were out. It's a huge, huge help. And it's just why we're streaming again now. Sent me another link for tomorrow. As I say, if I can get out, I'll try my utmost best. Just finished my crisps and they were a bit tasty. This is Super Tram. Trains from England and trains for World One. Series BBC, says Paco. <laughs> There's an old railway line here that has been turned into a cycle path. It is part of Drake's Trail and goes over an old rail bridge and a viaduct, says Nick B. It's like when we went up Bicket Hills, was it last year when you filmed that one going up that? I did film it, but obviously we've lost yeah. it because it was on the other channel. We'll have to pop back up, won't no, we? No, I think you lost the footage because it you lost it recording it, didn't you? Oh yeah, I deleted yeah. it by mistake, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, we'll have to go back up and pay a visit. But take we'll me, about... take me RCs up there. Do a video for me RCs and then do a bit on the disused it's train track. Shame we can do a live up there to show people. But we don't could know what it's for. Could try it, though, but it's we? the uh, signal with all the trees. You might not get a very good signal, but we could try, couldn't we? Not been up there for ages. What was it called again? Is it? Is it? My mind's gone blank. Bickerton Hills. Hills. I don't know if anyone's heard of Bickerton Hills. That's what that. we know it as, is called Bickerton Hills, and there's a disuse. And believe it or not, a few years back, we haven't done it for a while, but we used to climb up it, but it's that steep now, I wouldn't even attempt no. it. <laughs> the kids do it. Well, say kids, they're not kids now, they're young adults. But they tend to do it, and we just tend to stay at the bottom and wait for them to come back down again, walking around the pathway <laughs> and been a romantic 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 german train says paco good stuff open notification doesn't arrive two days after the events again says Marin. i'm not gonna live that down guys that's not my fault <laughs> yeah. salt line by your sage was also a nice old railways line footpath yeah behind there, the Rock and Donkey pub. There's a little way down there. Yeah, the old salt line. Those I know, it. I love fan. filming there, says Random Glover. Does SL mean slow line? It sure does, Samuel. Steam has got the green. Thank you, Andrew. Cold trains in the world, says Paco. <laughs> Paco, you should get some film in some of yours and put yours on. It'd be lovely to see them. So we should see the steam approaching shortly, guys. Sounds good, Nick. I was riding a short veil trail yesterday, says Marin. Does DSF mean down south fast? Not too sure. No, it's down fast. Oh, don't know on that one, Samuel. What is the service frequency at All Sage of HL? All Sage is a nice little station. You don't get much food there. Very rarely get any specials. You do get them, but very, very rarely come in that direction. Normally, on the when they do the specials, some like diverted, isn't it? They come through All Sage. Yeah. Well, it is a lovely station. It's a bit more like uh, Winsford, to be quite honest. But it's got a nice crossing, though, at All Sage. Half an hour, says Ben. England N1 is Angel of Crew. Number one is Angel of Crew. Thank you, Paco. 
Thank you, Ben. Sadly, my cycling days are over. I can still turn the pedals, but my arthritis hips won't let me actually get on a bike. Says Nick B. <laughs> Look like an old male bike. You need an electric bike. I had a. I have an electric, which is pedal assistant. You have to still pedal, but it gives you that bit more of a push to get you going. Listen that guys, here we go. Do you want to move your steps so I can get pull around with the camera? Oh Sage, you'll get the EMR services to Netwick Castle. They're making their way guys. Sean's gonna follow around with the camera because I can't really do it because it's too high up for me. hear them but can't quite see them just yet got a mobility scooter but payments are so bad it's like riding on a bone shaker so i prefer to walk oh, bless you nick <laughs> ride on the road that's what they do down here but like i say the roads are just as bad can you hear them coming along guys chug it away service to stoke here we go guys listen that There he goes guys making his way back to his travels on his safe journey finishing the tour off and it smelled lovely I couldn't smell it just when we got the first time but I smelled it that time and it was the front loco in steam then so they must have swapped over of which one was running that time double-headed flying Scotsman porcupine Welcome to the stream, hope you're well. Now that's what you call steam power. <laughs> Sound of hard working Jubilee. Double steamers, locomotives, thumbs up from Paco. And then there's just the 47 at the back, like, hmm, might have a nap going for 75 miles an hour. 390 following behind. 129. Is that going locomotive soon? Is it? No, it's carrying on with its tour now, Supertram. LSL is behind us. Doing well, just mowed the lawn, says Porcupine. OMG, what? That is so fast. Oh. Sit again then, guys. It's very quiet again now. But thank you all for joining again. Might be in the week if you want. Might pop back this destination if you like. We can face this week so we haven't got the fence in it. <laughs> and, then you'll get some freight and we'll see the freight coming up and down the avoider. Weather permitted, as I say, tomorrow it's give out rain again. No, 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 no. That's the first time I've seen the steam trains, isn't it? Oh, wow. So I'll see what I can do in the week, guys. But as I say, if the pub's open, it's not a really spot, really a spot where we can come and do a live stream. I can video, but I can't really live stream. So uh, we can always come back and face this way because you can get more of a stretch. Well, you don't get more. We've got a stretch just, but we just add the fencing in a little bit. You can actually see the coal yard there, the coal yard signal box. Site we can't mention already has a picture of steam. Oh, lovely. Um, so I'll see what I can do in the week, see if we can get to your weather permitted.
and see what's happening. I have a short from earlier on, Paco. We did come out earlier and we had it at Basford Hall. I've got a short that I'll upload, but I didn't get one just. Oh, Sean sure was working the camera just. Hi, Stephen. Thanks for joining. Hope you're well. I am just about to end the stream. I do apologise, but it is Sunday and it's very, very quiet. So do watch out for me coming out in the week, guys. Weather permitted. Enjoy your rest of your day and hope to see you all again very, very soon. Stay safe, take care, and see you later, guys. Bye for now. Don't forget, guys, bish, bash, bosh on the way out if you've not already done so. Cheerio for now, says Nick. See you later.